Hello guys and welcome back to another tutorial and in this video we are going to have a look at this landing page so the special thing about this landing page is as we move this bar around you can see we have this cool light effect going on and also that hidden text gets revealed now as we move closer to that text the opacity of the text increases and as we move far from it it disappears so in this video we will learn how to make this animation using simple javascript no other libraries so without wasting any more time let's get started so back to my project setup i have my index.html file here and i have linked my main.js and the style.css and but for the styling i am going to use scss and i am going to use this visual studio plugin what says so it will create the style.css automatically for us and so inside my body i will start adding the html part so the first thing that i am going to have here is my nav so inside the nav i will have my logo for that i will use h3 and name this spectrum and then we have another menu button so i will just call it menu and then i will create a new section now inside this section the first thing that I have is the overlay so this will be overlaying the background and this will be used to create that uh, light effect and then we have this div with a class name of bar so this will be the bar that we will be dragging around so I will also give this one an ID of bar so we will use this uh, ID in our JavaScript class now the next thing is our text wrapper so inside this text wrapper we will have all the text so for the text I will just copy paste it from my project so let me just paste it here so as you can see we have this h4 we will show and then in the next line we have h4 your and then for all the text hidden text I have uh, wrapped each one of the alphabet inside a span class and given them a class name of hidden and then we have the other text as well so that's all HTML that we require right now so I will open it with live server so you can see a preview of this so this is how it looks so far now now let's add some CSS so inside my CSS file I will first declare some global stuff so for all the elements I will give them a margin of 0 then a padding of 0 and the font family that I am going to use is Poppins as it is my favorite font and then I am going to also give a color of white so all the text will be of white color and fonts I'm giving this one a default font size of 54 pixel but you can change it uh, to any value that you want is not absolutely required to be 54 pixels now for my body I am giving this one a height and width of 100 viewport height and 100 viewport width and overflow to hidden now let me also create an images folder and inside this I will copy this background image that I will use for my section so now the next thing that we need to add here is uh, CSS for our section and for that I will set it to uh, let me just copy that code here so background URL will be my images uh, slash web bgpng that I am using background repeat is no repeat background size cover then height and width of 100 viewport height and 100 viewport width as you can see the background is applied here and let me also add some CSS for our nav class so for that I will just after my body tag I will copy the code for that so for the navigation let me bring the CSS here so position absolute width and height 100% display flex justify content space between and z index 99 so that it sits on the top now let's have a preview of how it looks so far but before that also for the text inside the nav I am adding some padding and the font size and setting the text decoration to underline for our menu so these are now at their proper place now let's add the CSS for our text wrapper so for the text wrapper I am going to copy the code inside my section so inside this we have position absolute padding left 600 pixels and then for the h4 uh, for the span I am giving this a different color and also a text saddle to add a glowing effect and then for the paragraph I am also giving font size and opacity setting to 0.7 now the text uh, is at their proper place 
now the next thing that we need to add here is the styling for our overlay class so basically this overlay will sit on top of our section and add a radial gradient effect on top of it so that we will have a lighting effect so for that overlay class let me bring that core here so the first thing that we have is a width and height of 100% and position set to fixed now the next thing that we need to add is our background so this will be a radial gradient and the shape will be an ellipse and the height will be 100 v max and the width will be 50 v max now where we need to add this gradient is defined by using this at so for at i am giving this one cursor x and 50 viewport height so this cursor x is a variable that we need to define so let me go on top and on the root i will define this variable so this is a CSS variable and I am defining this to 0 viewport width. So right now the we, have, we will have this ellipse radial gradient at 0 viewport width and 50 viewport height. And the opacity at 0% will be 0 0.5 and at 100% will be 0 0.9. So this will create a background gradient effect so as you can see here we have the lights uh, at op 0 0.5 opacity and the rest we have the opacity set to 0 0.9 now if i set it to suppose 50 viewport width then what will happen is this radial gradient will be at the center of the screen so you can see here the opacity is 0 0.5 and around the corners we have the opacity 0 0.9 so let me set it back to this variable we will change this variable from our javascript class as we drag that bar around now the next thing that we need to add is the css for our bar so for that i will just bring that code here so again position absolute from left uh, 20, 220 pixel height 70 percent and width setting to 25 pixel now we need to add some border radius setting it to 10 pixel and background color setting this to a bright color now we need to add the box shadow now since this box shadow we will be using multiple times so i will create a scss variable on the top of the file so here on the top i am copying pasting this so box shadow bar is basically a sequence of box shadows that will be applied to our bar class so this will gives us a light effect like a tube light you can call it so box shadow i'm setting this to box shadow bar now let's save this one and have a look and also don't forget to set the z index to 99 so that it sits on the top so now you can see we have that this bar around now let's add some more styling so what we have in our original is uh, this flickering effect that you can see when we reload the page so let's add the css for that so that will be a simple CSS animation. So I will add some animation property on my overlay. So the animation name will be fluctuate and it will take one second to complete and the timing function will be easy now. Now let's define a keyframe for that fluctuate effect. So here what I am doing is at 0% I am setting the radial gradient and as you can see for 0% and 100% both is 0 0.9 and then again for 0 0.5 and 0 0.9 then 40 percent setting it to again 0 0.9 and 0 0.9 so what will this will do is add this little effect and now let's do the same thing for our bar so for that also i will need to define some animation so animation name will be fluctuate bar animation duration one second and animation timing function is easy in out now let's add that keyframe here so as you can see at 0% box shadow is none 20% box shadow setting it to whatever we had defined then again at 40% box shadow is none and then 100% box shadow set to whatever we had defined so now when we reload we have this nice flickering effect so in the next video we will cover the remaining javascript part where we will be able to drag this and reveal this hidden text as we drag around so that's it guys for this video so if you like this video don't forget to hit the like button and I will see you in the next one.